Hi everyone, Archana here. I am so sorry for not being able to make my videos from last couple of weeks. Uh, I was very busy with some uh, household things and our holiday Diwali we celebrated and it was for one week. So now I am here with another beautiful flower and this, this time our Friday will be Fomerian Friday. So first time I am showing you how I made these flowers using foam. Uh, this is one millimeter foam and uh, I have everything uh, in the description box below. The link where to purchase and everything. Uh, frankly I love foam but I am very comfortable using my papers but uh, upon a lot of request I am uh, making foam flowers this time um, frequently maybe I will try my best to show flowers using foam so you can see these beautiful blooms here I'm not sure what this flower called but these are kind of um, primrose or something like that so pretty very delicate flowers and foam is also very delicate to work with so we need to um, use our gentle hands <laughs> so let's get started so i'll keep it here for us or here uh, so first of all we will need a foam uh, any color you can use if you have other colors handy but i always prefer light colors so this is the foam and since we are using our regular retro uh, punch uh, we are going to use some technique so I'm going to show you what we need uh, the ink whatever like green or whatever you prefer your center should be so for these flowers I have used yellow very nice light yellow color and very bright colored yellow uh, stamens here link is also available in the description box some uh, paper tape floral tape uh, a tool if ne needed but mostly a tool is not necessary but yeah you never know a glue we need a punch and a dowel some kind of wooden wooden dowel uh, and this time we are using uh, iron so this should be on a silk or wool setting not like highest setting so it's barely uh, warm you can touch or maybe little bit more than that so this is a warm setting and then we need some kind of uh, um, this mat uh, floral mat and uh, what else nothing so then let's get started so uh, I just want to show you how to cut these foams using the punch so if you use directly punch on this it will cut properly don't worry but sometimes you know they since it's soft I tend to get in suck in uh, this punch this hollow area and your petal will not get proper shape so what I prefer just use a piece of paper this is just a printer paper I am using uh, so you need that kind of liner uh, for your foam strip so it will cut nicely you can see like that okay so I cut uh, without this paper liner and I wasted a lot of foam and since foam is very um, rarely uh, available in USA uh, since it's coming out in the market uh, but not much uh, they are very popular in um, like all European countries uh, so uh, it's little bit costly here in USA so we need to save them <laughs> don't waste it so use this technique uh, to make your flowers and then we need two petals so I have it here two petals for these flowers and now what we need to do so I will uh, maybe zoom in a little bit so you can see what I am making. I hope I am not too close. So um, get your uh, foam uh, die cut and barely touch the uh, 
uh, this uh, iron. Uh, iron is sometimes not necessary. Your warm hands can mold this from foam properly. You can bend it, twist it, turn it using your warm hand. So if you don't want to use iron, it's not comfortable, it's not safe. If you have a children around you or for your safety um, just avoid it uh, but uh, most of the people using this iron so i'm using it today so just touch it like that and use your dowel don't use your fingers or something so you will see that it come it's becoming very like a uh, fluffy then get it um, and just twist the top and don't twist very hard okay since it's tend to or cut it on the edges or um, it will get ruined so just barely gently three four times you just need to twist turn pinch whatever you want to do it so you can use all over paper flower techniques which i have already shown in my previous videos uh, for these kind of flowers as well. It's nothing new technique here. Just this warming thing is different But again as I told you don't need that iron Okay, so just get this and make this top petal a little bit natural looking so I'll Take this iron off of the table and let's just work on this so you can see um, just like our paper it is taking a shape like this effect now you need to open it and gently just open these petals like that gently okay don't like in one time don't just um, pull it both ends otherwise it will cut in the middle so gently just open these each and every petal and if you think while doing this step your this top edge is getting straight again don't worry we will make that shape again so just get this tp and just roll it like that like this okay and then for the middle we will use the tool for a while so just make sure this middle is nicely rounded okay like that and then next petal we are doing the same step just gently open it like that like that okay. and then again make these tips in proper shape the tube tool and make a cup shape in the middle they look beautiful like the foams are very delicate and very soft uh, looking so most of the time they look really really <laughs> realistic flowers but uh, if you are not used to handle the foam you will not like it since I am I have these foams from gazillion months back I purchased but I never tried one when it came in my hand I used I made one yellow rose flower I have posted on my Facebook page but other than that I never used foam but uh, today uh, upon a really really lot of request I'm using the foam so uh, get your yellow color and gently color in the center and I am not using any pastels or whatever uh, people are using for foam. I am simply using my mostly loving product by Tim Holtz, a distressed ink. 
this is always always my favorite product for my flower making so just color it like that and now we need to assemble the one petal on top of each top of other and we need to just make a little tiny hole in the center so we i'm not using any punch today since the foam is very delicate you can just easily make a hole uh, even that uh, very tiny wire can make a hole in this foam so just I'm not using any glue but if you want to use a glue uh, to stick this petal together you can use it but I am just not using it today so just get these stamens in however you want like you want fully in just push it in you want some out like this you can just do it so and then take out this loop wire off and use your floral tape uh, sometimes it's not sticky enough so I use little bit glue to stick this floral on that just a little bit and then just if you want this wire in you want long stem and uh, like long stem so just keep this wire in and then use your floral, floral tape. I'm so sorry, today I can't even talk, I'm not sure. Maybe after a long time I'm making this video. Uh, I even have to upload my two wonderful videos which are a rack. Yes, I got two beautiful racks from my sweet sweet friends and they are coming up on my YouTube videos and uh, I'll show you what they sent me okay uh, then back to this flower your flower is ready isn't it so cute super pretty flower you can see they are very lightweight very delicate and i'm in love so these are my um, technically very first pomerian flowers i have created in my life and i'm very happy uh, I'm, i will still work on some more flowers and let's see if i'm comfortable using foam uh, I think I will uh, but of course I will make my paper flowers as well so thank you so much for watching and keep making beautiful flowers and uh, I will see you on next Friday for sure thanks for watching bye for now